This is Rich down along the river. Rich's River Smokers, West Virginia. Today, it's not going to be a cooking video. It's not going to be a review video. It's not going to be a rub video. It's going to be a competition talk video because of that time of year. We got two weeks to our first comp. And for those who are new to my channel, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for hanging out. And for those who don't know that we are a competition team for KCBS as well. Our comp team is River Smokers West Virginia, just without the riches. So last year, for those who don't know, we were a backyard team. We did four comps and we got five calls. So we'll recap it. Our first comp was at Interstate in Hagerstown, Interstate Barbecue Festival. I'll leave out, I think I did, when I got back, I did a video on all these uh, competitions. So I'll leave a video up here in iCard when we got back and we did, we got fourth place pork and like long way away from first place on chicken. It was a bad experience with chicken. So we ended up finishing like seventh overall. So that wasn't a bad. So then we got milling around that we were going to keep going with Miss Katie's support and the family support. We ended up in Weston, West Virginia at another backyard KCBS cook-off um, at the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum. Asylum. Um, I will leave that iCard up here and <clears throat> the movie I made when we got back. Um, so we did pretty good there. We did a lot of game changing. We get a lot of ingredients changing and we come up with a third place chicken, a third place rib call and a fourth place chicken call, which we got two calls in both, the, one call in both of the categories we did, which is very good, and we finished um, fifth overall. Now, um, I will leave, we got plaques for that. I'll leave, you know, they're, I'm gonna show you right now. You should see them right now. I'll put them in. We got, you know, third place ribs, fourth place uh, chicken, and so we had fun at that one. And if you haven't had a chance to go to West and West Virginia to the Trans Allegheny Lunatic Asylum, Asylum, it's like a tourist place now. It is beautiful. You can ask Miss Katie, I'm surprised she's not in here talking about it because it's one of her favorite places that we went over the summer, last summer. Um, and it's really fun. So check it out, Trans Allegheny Lunatic Asylum dot com. And um, if you're into ghost hunting and stuff, it's a good place for you. But we had fun there. So we did good there, and um, we finished up the season. No, actually, we well, actually no in September. Was it September, honey? I think it was in September, August. I think it was August or September. We did a um, a buddy of mine, Sean Moffat. I'll show you a picture right here, and um, met him, and we got to know each other. He's uh, an admin on my Facebook group. He's got a barbecue KCS barbecue comp team. We're really good friends. And he wanted me, well, I was wondering if I was interested in doing a benefit fundraiser for the Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh. He's up in Oil City, Pennsylvania, Red Valley Barbecue. Um, check his Facebook out. He's got a Facebook page. Um, real nice guy. I love him to death. He's really, really personal. I've um, been a big help in my competition uh, you know, results. Um, he actually showed Katie how to do a kale box and he, she does it damn near better than he does. So we did a video on that. I'll leave that up here in the iCard. You can check it out. So <clears throat> what we did is we went and done it. That was a four meat competition. So we did pork butt, brisket, ribs, and chicken. So we didn't get a call on brisket. We got a second place pork butt call. We got a second place rib call. I'll leave those trophies, or like saw blades, right here. And um, we ended up finishing, um, I don't know where we placed overall, um, but I know we got, it wasn't a KCBS organization, but it was a second place rib, second place pork right here on the wall, but you've seen them. So we did good with that. Jonathan Havins was, Havins was there. You've seen him on our channel cooking pork bellies. And um, he's a real, real good friend of the family's. He's a subscriber. Um, I think he's thinking about going barbecue, backyard barbecue, KCBS. And um, so we went away from that experience happy. You know, we was able to raise some money for some children. We was able to bring home some cash money prize. 
and two saw blades. But as you can see, I'm wearing the BBQ shirt by the sea. That's the sea for Delaware. Now we elected to go this because it was like a trick or treating, full family event in Sea for Delaware at the Delaware State Park in Sea for Delaware. Beautiful place. It was warm. It was really nice. October. They had trick or treating. So, you know, why not? Last one of the season. And it turned out really, really well for us. We got a fourth place rib call in backyard, which that was our backyard for us. And we got a first place chicken call, and I'll leave the trophy right here. Aha. Uh -huh. And um, we finished second place um, overall, which is, if you're in the pro circuit, a reserve grand champion. And second place out of like 10 teams for the caliber of teams that was there backyard or not they're still competitors and we still did good um so we missed gc by um five points so it was really close um i had fun the kids had fun Kim miss katie had fun it was a good weekend and that's how it went out now it's 2018 damn near april first comp coming in two weeks but me and Miss Katie, we talked about it, consulted a couple friends like Jason Stout, Choking on Smoke. You've seen him on our channel. Check out his Facebook page, Choking on Smoke Barbecue Team. I'll try to leave a link to these channels or the Facebooks at least if I, if I can in the description box. We're going to go KCBS Pro Team this year, and we're going to be cooking four meats. And um, it's, a little, it's a lot tougher than Backyard. So we really got our work cut out for us. But I got some pretty good recipes. I got a pretty good cooker. And I got a pretty good support cast as my family and my friends. So what we're going to do for you on that is we're going to try to do videos. Um, April 6th and 7th is the comp. So we're going to try to do the video to get you videos this season. However, this one's going to be tough. I'm, I'll be... Happy if we do anything there and get any calls or just even do well because it's called the Iron Man. It's in Greencastle, Pennsylvania. Now, what's different from the Iron Man is going to be different from any other competition KCBS Cook we do this year. Is there's no electric puffers. You can't use your Guru. You can't use your Flame Balls. You can't use your, you know, Pit Master or whatever. Whatever your blower is, you can't use the fans. You can't use a pit probe. You can't use a stand thermometer. You can't use, hell, you can't use vacuum marinators. You can't use marinade tumblers. You can only use insta read thermometers like a Maverick, a Thermapen, a Thermapop, anything that's just insta read. It's tough. And then on top of it, they make you cook 10 pounds of chicken wings, which I got a pit barrel cooker for that. So we have it covered. My new 270 I got, fra Frankenstein, resurrected, that's going to be the comp cooker. So, and another kicker about the Iron Man format is you can, you're only allowed to cook one brisket, one pork butt, one slab of ribs, and seven chicken thighs, six for the box, one to taste. Tough, I know. But it, you know, if you're good enough, if you're cooking this food a lot, which we got first place chicken, and we cook chicken, and I've cooked chicken a lot, comp chicken thighs, I think we have a good chance in our strong categories with chicken and ribs because of the comp, because of, because of our backyard comp, backyards. So, wish us luck. We're going to see you on another comp video for that comp video, but stick around because someone has requested for me to go to individually name our equipment that we use for our comps. Well, my barbecue tubs I got for competition. We're going to go through these on a video that's coming up. Stay tuned. So I'm going to ramp up the videos. Keep your eyes open. Watch for notifications. And I hope you enjoyed this. I know it was kind of maybe kind of stale and kind of boring. But I want this is the competition part of our channel. And um, I have you know, playlists with the comp, competition, team results, and information. So go there and check them out. Um, so I, I don't want to be boring, but anyway, 
I hope this is informal to you. If you do some of the new subscribers, a little bit of a background. So, I hope you like, share, subscribe this to my channel, my channel, my videos. So, and be sure, be sure when you share with your friends and family, tell them the best barbecue comes from the river. And we'll see you on the next one.